All right, friends, when you get your submarine and your paper back, um, we're gonna put it to the side for now or put it back into your specials holder for a while. We wanna keep those kind of safe. Um, today we're gonna start working on your sea life and think about things around it. Um, our goal is to first sketch it out so that way you can trace it with the Sharpie. So you will go to the canvas page, find your how to draw, or you can find a different how to draw, how to draw your particular sea life. So let's say I do a jellyfish. I wanna think about how my jellyfish is going to interact with other things. Since it is my creature, I might make it bigger than everything else. But I do wanna leave room for it. So. I'm gonna draw a really quick one. Maybe there's a specific kind of jellyfish you wanna do. All right, after that, that's when I trace it onto my sheet protector with Sharpie. I can do a little bit of blending with um, Sharpie. And the best part is if you mess up, there's always a, another side that will be blocked. So you can also decide on one side being your kind of side to work from. You can get really detailed with your underdrawing. I just sketch it out so that I have something to kind of aim for. And you want to think about what this is going to look like with something white behind it. So if there is, if there are details you want to accomplish. Think about coloring in. So even though my jelly is mainly kind of like pinkish purple, I use a blue outline to highlight it. You can also do like a black outline. We don't really have a gray gray for sharks, but you might want to, actually maybe I'll get a gray for you guys. Um, you can use blues to create your sharks. All right. If you know things that your creature eats or maybe things that are in its environment, you'd go back you'd first sketch it. So let's say I want this jellyfish to be swimming near some sea kelp. Then I could, after I sketch it, I could even decide, oh, I don't want it there. Maybe I want it over here. So that's also a benefit of sketching it first is that you can move it to the place you want it to be before tracing it with your Sharpies. All right, so I am creating different kinds of greens. Why not? Because Sea kelp doesn't have to be just like green, green. It can be kind of yellowish or maybe even a little brownish. And you're probably wondering, how's this really gonna look? Well, we can check it out. So we can put our black background on it. You really can't see it. And I know your submarine's not cut out, but like you can kind of use your normal submarine and see what it would look like behind it, even though it's not cut out yet. So this is what we're starting to work on today. We'll continue working on it next time. Really think about how big you want things to be 
Um, some things can be big because they're closer. I can also do like a really tiny turtle in the background to show that this turtle might come out and try to eat this jellyfish. Um, but first plan it out on your white paper. You can check it as you go to see kind of how it's turning out.